Our website features a huge product line of different decorative column styles, as well as a variety of 6 inch to 18 inch diameters to choose from in a natural stone white or an antique travertine stain, making our columns the perfect solution to your decorating dreams. Our products have been featured on the hit TLC show while you are out, using our wall panels, columns, and decorative pieces to transform a backyard, as well as the NBC Classic Extreme Makeover Home Edition. All of our columns are made out of a dense polyurethane, not styrofoam. They are molded off of real natural stone, which gives you the look and feel of real stone. The columns will easily enhance your home renovation project for either interior or exterior. They can withstand extreme temperatures without rotting, chipping, or fading. All of our columns are made right here in the United States. Once an order is placed, our columns ship within 7 to 14 days. Other than the beautiful look, the best part is how lightweight they are, which makes them so easy to install. To get started, you will need a handsaw, screw gun, tape measure, nails, masking tape, a level, grout, and a grout gun. The most frequent question we get asked is how easy is it to install a column? Well, I'm here to show you I'm not a professional, and this is actually the first time I've ever installed a column. Let's get started. You want to shim out the pole with wood to make sure the column wraps tightly around and feels more solid. An easy way to measure how much you need to cut off the shaft is by stacking the cap and base on top of each other. Then measure the distance from the stack pieces to the top of the ceiling. This measurement is how long the shaft needs to be. Use the tape measure and mark the column with a pen. Then with a handsaw, carefully cut the shaft. Look how easy the product is to cut. Remember, measure twice, cut once. If you have high ceilings or a multiple story exterior, keep in mind the columns can be extended taller to any custom height. Use the handsaw to cut your base apart and measure the dimensions of the 4x4. Then trace the shape onto your base and using a jigsaw, carefully cut out following your markings. Repeat on both sides. Wrap the base around the pole and once lined up properly, use 2.5 screws to assemble together. It's easier to screw the shafts together with a few screws already started into the shaft. Wrap the two shafts around your shimmed out 4x4 and make sure the seams line up. Hold together tightly and countersink the screws about every 10 to 12 inches up each seam of the column. Be sure to check to see if the column is level before securing to floor or ceiling. Slide your cap onto the shaft, screwing it into the ceiling and the shaft into the cap. Using our sand finish magic grout, cover all the screw heads running a line up both seams. Grout where the shaft attaches to the cap and the base and the ceiling and floor. The grout takes about an hour to dry and matches the stone white paint. Your wrapped column is now assembled and in under 15 minutes. Stack the caps and bases and measure the remaining space to the ceiling. Use this measurement to mark your shaft. Masking tape is a great way to make sure your cut is even. Then use the handsaw with the tape as your guide and look how easy the product is to cut. Remember, measure twice, cut once. Keep in mind the columns can also be extended taller to any custom height. Set your base in place and stack your shaft and cap just to make sure the measurements are correct. Line up all the seams and hold tight while you countersink screws into the shaft to base and cap. Use a level to make sure the column is straight before screwing into ceiling or floor. If you're installing over tile or concrete, be sure to pre-drill holes and use Tapcon screws. It's also recommended using a heavy-duty glue, PL400. Grout the cap and base seam to the floor and ceiling along with a place where the caps and bases meet. If all you need is a half column installed against a wall, you're in luck because it's one of the easiest installation jobs. Stack the caps and bases and measure the remaining space to the ceiling. Use this measurement to mark your shaft. Then use the handsaw. Remember, measure twice, cut once. Keep in mind, the columns can also be extended taller to any custom height. Set your base in place and stack your shaft and cap just to make sure your measurements are correct. Line up all the seams and hold tight while you countersink screws into the shaft to the base and cap. 
use a level to make sure the column is straight before screwing into ceiling or floor. If you're installing over tile or concrete, be sure to pre-drill holes and use Tapcon screws. It's also recommended using a heavy-duty glue, PL400. Grab the cap and base seam to the floor and ceiling, along with a place where the caps and bases meet. Browse through the frequently asked questions to help answer any you might have. If you still have any design or install questions, our professionally trained sales team is only a phone call away.